Welcome back Tomb Raider fans, my name is Rox and thank you for joining me on another tutorial for Rise of the Tomb Raider. This time I'm doing the Unlucky Ones, which is in the Soviet installation. And when you finish this mission, you get the Infiltrator outfit. The thing is with this mission is that, man, I actually have history with this mission. This mission actually became a bug for me or a glitch or something because it actually did not finish when I did my first playthrough. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but when uh, you play the game, the game does like a backup save. And I didn't know this until much later on. Um, I did everything in the game and I have 99% of my completion of my first playthrough. The problem is, is that the unlucky ones never completed. For some reason, it just got stuck. Uh, it was telling me to go back and talk to that guy you guys just saw me talking to and to press the X button. Unfortunately, every time I press the X button, nothing happened. And I thought that, well, wh what am I going to do? There's Maybe that I'll release a patch later or I don't know. I'll, keep, I'll, keep, I'll hold on to the save just in case. So I decided to go back and jump on the uh, previous save file which was the alternate save file, which was the backup from the same file though, because you get three files. You get the first one, the second, and the third one. But the first one, the second, and the third each have a backup file. So I went into the backup file from my first playthrough, and I figured, let me go, let me do the unlucky ones first before I start looking into everything else. And I went and did the unlucky ones mission, and lo and behold, it did the same thing. I don't know why, but I could not complete the mission because it, nothing would happen every time I went back. Even though that was my command to go back and talk to the guy who had initially gave me the mission, every time I went back to him, nothing happened. I, I couldn't complete it. So my first file is corrupted. I can't do anything about it, which is preventing me from getting 100%. I'm not sure if anybody else has experienced the same thing, but I also want to mention that and my second file, I started a new campaign and I wanted to play this game, uh, you know, my own pace. And I did the Unlucky Ones mission and it worked. It, I didn't have a problem. It just, it went through. And I finished it and I moved on to the, another mission. And I started another campaign, and which is the one you guys are seeing now because I was curious if it was going to do this to other ones. And no, it didn't. So what you guys are actually watching here is actually my fourth saved file and to allow me to show you guys how to finish the unlucky ones. Now all you need to do with this mission is actually one of my favorite ones and I'm surprised that it only had one of these. The Soviet installation only has five missions. After this one, uh, the only other five missions that you get is from the Geothermal Valley. But this one, I actually liked because, you know, it was a, a simple objective and it's an objective that I like. Go rescue the hostages. That's your only objective. And I got to, to uh, go to this installation and sure enough, I rescued the hostages and I noticed something, okay? If, if you guys are actually playing this game, I noticed something that happened which should have given me an indicator letting me know that, that there was something wrong. See, what ends up happening is after you take out these guys, uh, you need to quietly walk through the two sleeping ones. I tried to execute them through my playthrough and they ended up waking up and we got into a gunfight. Now, I don't know if that's what caused the problem, but what is supposed to happen is that I'm supposed to sneak by these guys, open this lock, and then free the hostages. Now, as we exit, the girl stops midway the stairs and she says, wait, before I go, I have to do something first. She goes actually back into the room, closes the door, and then executes the two sleeping guys in there. Now, when I did my first playthrough All right. of this mission, that didn't happen. She never went back inside. That should have been my first indicator letting me know that there was something wrong. But I didn't even know that that was going to happen. I didn't even know that was going to supposed to happen until my fourth game, no, my third gameplay, because I was I was surprised. I'm like, wait, she didn't do that the other time. Maybe that's what was wrong, or maybe it was that I wasn't supposed to kill the two soldiers. But isn't that like a big problem that they need to fix? Because how? What if somebody, anybody else who's playing the game? What if they want to execute the soldiers that don't allow the, the hostage to do it? You know, this is something they're going to have to look into. Um, anyway, so 
Once you uh, do finish this mission, you got to go back to that one guy. Once you return to him, he gives you the infiltrator outfit, which is actually one of my favorite uh, outfits. Um, what it looks like is, I think it's got the camouflage, sort of a blue pattern, um, uh, sort of military uniform, and uh, it's pretty cool. I, I like it. So that's the Unlucky Ones mission, and it forever will be engraved as a most frustrating mission for me because, like I said, the trouble that I went through, and it's also preventing me from getting 100% in my first playthrough. And I still have the file, but now that I know that the original playthrough, or at least the original file and the backup file from the same data is uh, corrupted, I'm going to have to delete the whole thing and start all over again. But... Uh, it doesn't matter. I like playing the game. Unfortunately, like in the uh, first Tomb Raider, by the time you get to the end of the game, you have unlocked all of her perks. That's not the case with Rise of the Tomb Raider. In Rise of the Tomb Raider, you really get to unlock the perks that you want and that you feel that you need. So by the end of the game, you'll have a more customizable version of type of Lara that you like to play. But once I finish the game, then you can go back and redo a whole bunch of other stuff in order to unlock everything else. But, you know, it is what it is. Anyways, I hope you guys found this tutorial useful and somewhat entertaining because it wasn't for me. It was very frustrating. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. My name is Rox, and I'll see you guys next time.